Hey there everybody, thanks for joining me for another one man review. Today I have a, a book that's really special to me. It's John Mahoney's Zentropa. John is now a friend of the show, which I'm really super grateful for. Brandon and I interviewed him about heavy metal, so make sure that you go back and check out that conversation between the three of us. This is John's book Zentropa, which he kickstarted in 2015, and then parts of it came out in heavy metal, which is where I became familiar with it. It was later on, uh, after 2015, during Grant Morrison's run. I don't remember the dates. But I was seeing stuff like this, where he's taking the pages from the Zentropa book and had colored them, and they were publishing these in heavy metal. And the stuff just blew my mind. I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, it totally captured the, what I think is like the spirit of heavy metal, but made it contemporary. I think John really, really carries that forward. The, the spirit of at least the type of stuff that I liked in the original heavy metal books. Um, so I've always wanted to get like the full version of it. I don't think a full version even exists in color, which is unfortunate. Maybe one day John will be able to get out a full color version of this book. But I'm really glad that I got this Artisan Tropa that has some of the color stuff. So, so you all can see that if you haven't seen the heavy metal work. But as, as far as I know, the only like complete version of it so far is the kickstarted version, which is mostly in black and white. And just so happy to have this. If you try and get it online now, it's really expensive. Um, and I had even told John like, hey, if you have any copies, I'll pay you. And he didn't think he had any for a while. And then he found this one and was kind enough to just send it along. So. This is a book I've been wanting for a long, long time, and I'm so grateful and so happy to have it. It's just absolutely insane, like kind of biomechanical art. Um, I know John described the process that he used to make it in that heavy metal video, which was he was using some kind of 3D rendering to create 3D models and then exporting it to line art using some process and then collaging things together. So you get these really intense, like fractal kind of repetitions in the art because that model can be blown up or shrunken down like to whatever size. And so you'll get pages like this where there's just the same kind of repeat units over and over just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, but within that, you never like get lost either. There's always these awesome compositional structures holding everything together there's no dialogue the story's like just super open-ended and surreal the introduction john explains that he had been he didn't say exactly what but there was some medical situation where he had been told that he didn't have very long to live and luckily came through it and is fine and so this is his response to that experience in his life so you can you can kind of loosely interpret that in with all of these kind of machines and bodies going together and maybe hallucinating while you're under the knife or something like that there's a bit of that in there uh, but really it's like this eat your heart out Jeff Darrow type of art where man it's just so packed full of like all these little figures in these repetitions here all this cool machinery um, really psychedelic artwork. It's it's a real beautiful book to look at. There's an awesome, let's see if I can find it, an awesome two-page spread here. And there's also on this side. So you can see a lot of John's like concept, concept design work that he does for movies showing up with these awesome characters. Um, it's just a real treat of a book to have. It's unfortunate that there's so little of them. I'm hoping at some point John can get back to it. Uh, I know he was mentioning that he wanted to tweak a couple things and um, I would love to also own a, a full color version of this. Uh, if you have some spare cash to throw around and you can find a used copy online, I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's one of the more visually thrilling books you could look at. Um, and like I said, this, the story, and he, he says it as well, the story is loose and open to interpretation it's intended that way so i don't even come into it thinking about story i'm just looking at the art the flow of the art the panel transitions uh just all of this cool stuff so thank you so much john for passing this along um and i know you're trying john's also trying to 
kind of loosely take some of the themes in this and turn it into a movie. So I really, really hope that happens. Good luck to John on that. Happy to support him in, in whatever way. I know he has a Kickstarter coming up soon. We'll put a link in the in the information to that where you can get some Zentropa swag. I don't know if there's going to be any copies of the book, but it's a way that you can support John in what he's doing and support him as he moves towards trying to get this uh, material turned into a film. While you're at it, make sure that you go, if you haven't, and get yourself a copy of The Strange Death of Alex Raymond, another book with lots of insane teeny tiny details that you can get lost in and sucked into. All kinds of weird fractals and things in this book as well. And then keep an eye out for the other books that Sean has coming from Living the Line, Yokoama Yuichi's Plaza, Eric Creek's The Exile, and Mil Van de Peet's Centralia. Thanks for following along. Take it away, Jack. What?